Hi, I'm Rob Hulls and I'm the Director of the Centre for Innovative Justice here at RMIT University. And I'm Kate Octry, the CIJ's Student Program Manager. And in July of this year we took 10 students on our annual Innovative Justice Study Tour and this year we went to New York. Over five days we witnessed some of the world leading therapeutic justice practices and community driven solutions to offending. It was a fantastic trip, um, but I would say that, wouldn't I? Don't listen to me, or Kate for that matter. Let's hear what our students have to say. The first day of the Centre for Interview Justice study tour today in Manhattan. Um, I got a lot out of today, basically. First we went to the Centre for Court Innovation in Manhattan. Um, learn a lot about the programs that they've been developing in court reform. Um, we listened to some people talking about peacemaking, which is like a round table restorative um, approach to justice that they use here. And then we listened to some defence attorneys, a social worker and the prosecution discuss how they work in a really collaborative way and non-adversarial way. The judge I've got to admit, it was probably the best judge I've ever heard. I'd love to see something like that judge in Australia. She was fantastic. She had empathy. She um, she would call on the, um, I say call on clients, I don't call on uh, offenders. She would call on the client, you know, do you really want to do a program? And she could sort of tell by their body language, but she also, she showed a lot of care. Judge Grasso, which um, is a, a judge who has an approach to justice that's innovative and that, that addresses the root cause of the problem. And what really struck me most is what he said about um, the moment of arrest as an opportunity to change someone's life, and, like a life-saving measure, and how it can either save a person or bring the further, bring a person further into um, failure about what's happening in Melbourne compared to what's happening here and one of the staff members mentioned that it, Melbourne sounds like New York was in 1989 uh, with the tough on crime rhetoric so kind of looking forward to going home and researching what necessarily that means and what that might say about the future for criminal law in Melbourne. Overall, my biggest reflection is based on something that Kate said about um, whether there's hope for the future. I think in Australia there definitely is, um, especially based on the way that America has done things in the past 25 years that the CCI has been operating. If Australia, in particular Victoria, is at a point um, in the justice system that America was at in 1989, um, New York has come so far and done so much work with the communities um, asking them what they need, responding to them, not just telling them what's best. And I think that if we can uh, work in a similar manner, I think that we really can achieve great things. So for me, it's been great to experience uh, what is essentially a movement in New York, uh, to see communities more involved uh, in how justice uh, is delivered. And uh, it's been an experience that uh, has changed me as a person and will definitely influence my future career in the legal sector.